Uh, this video is about how to manage promotions in outperform planning. Let's first agree, what is a promotion? In most businesses, the sales just don't happen by themselves. There's competition, there are other parties providing the same or a similar product, and we constantly need to remind our consumers of our product. And this is what is done by what we call a promotion. A promotion is an exceptional situation that's meant to boost our sales and to build and maintain the brand awareness. But how do we ensure that our sales plan correctly reflects the promotion? Because the promotion is an exceptional decision to boost our sales. And how do we prevent that the engines get carried away with historical information that includes the promotions, but those promotions may or may not be repeated in the, in the next year? That's all in the areas of features of promotions. I just add a little bit of theory. Be reminded, be informed that promotion is additional to the regular sales in the future, and it is subtracted from the total recorded sales in history. And you'll come to understand why it is one way in the future and another way in history. Let's quickly go there. Sales, we see the regular structure, data shelter, the data that drives your application, sales forecast, and then promotion is a separate corner. Uh, the promotions report uh, may be of use to uh, put into the favorites and let's put it right away to the top over here. Uh, but before we go into the promotions report, let's just look at the forecast. We have the forecast for product F011. What we see is the three years of history and the two years of future. And let's see what the patterns are. See, there's a, a bit of uplift in winter, which is what we um, expected. And um, let's now say we we already know we have uplift in winter, but let's boost our sales in, in summer a bit more. And um, off we go. Your selection does not match any existing promotion. And that's true because I only see the R of the regular volume over here. Uh, do you want to create a new promotion? Oh, well, let's, let's go. Let's do that. And let's call that um, Summer Chocolate Frenzy. The product code is um, F011. The duration of the promotion will be 14 days. And since I said it would be in summer, let's do that in July. And why not take 11th, 11th July, uh, 14 days. And then 10, 1, 2, 3, 10,000 pieces. You can see the system is already uh, providing you with an estimated um, distribution that you can maybe make a bit more right skewed or left skewed. But um, for now, let's keep things simple and choose the flat distribution. So we'll just put it from Sunday the 11th until Saturday the 24th. And I can do a description, demo, promo, save and close. Now what you immediately see, immediately see happening is that the, um, the, the clients which are expanded here are collapsed again because I refreshed the report, but I get now three sections, T, R, and P, total, regular, and promotional volume. And in the promotional volume, I get my nice peak on top. That is my promotional uplift, and my total becomes the sum of my regular, which is the regular, Remember that 2021 is the orange line. This is the regular and this is the total and that gets the promotional uplift. I can also, like I already um, exposed, see that in a different way with the uh, regular demand versus promotion. The regular demand versus promotion monitor um, has a flexible uh, horizon scope. And in order to see that properly, the best way to do it is to just or the easiest way to do it is to just select these two that actually means from here all the way to the right and then to the left again but since they are right below each other this is a convenient way of doing it and i can i can pin that so that i can remember that for the next time now this is the um the simple story uh, i just have a regular forecast and um, i put some promotional volume on top of it and even if I recast this forecast again, the 
forecast will be calculating itself based on the regular volume and the outcome will be volume on top. Now let's reason the other way around and uh, I'm going to do it a bit extreme uh, just to make it visually clear to you. Um, it's, it's already clear that in the chocolate industry uh, there is a, a peak over the Christmas period. But let's now assume that this peak was not just because it's there every year, but because the product was heavily promoted in the in the Christmas period. If that is the case, then you don't want the forecasting engine to just assume that this bulb will happen again, like the forecast uh, engine is assuming it right now. Let's assume that this has all been the consequence of promotions. And I've been doing um, a little bit of preparing here. So, I can make that happen uh, easily on the other monitor. I've put in three uh, promotions, the peak season 2018, 2019 and 2020. And I've called those uplift promotions, which are another type of promotions. And just said in that period, there was 150% uplift. Now the picture will change dramatically. Because as you can see, I've got a lot of, a lot of promotional volume in this period and as you can see the regular volumes will have been totally flattened and this forecast over here is still the old forecast that was based on the notion that yeah the season comes along every year that's, 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 that's the seasonal calculation of the engine but I've, what i've now done is i've i've told the machine that all these three years were exceptional uh, situations where the product was heavily discounted and that was the reason it sold so much. And as a result, my regular volume is quite flat. My total volume is still unaffected because that's what I recorded as sales orders. And my promotional volume is exactly reflecting that bulb. If I now run my forecast engine, just for this F11 in the search set, then my regular forecast will be quite flat as well. I don't have the bulb in the future. And only if I decide that there's a promotion here as well. And I, in this new year, I only had a promotion in summer and I didn't have a promotion in the winter time frame. So only if I um, decide that that seasonal or that that winter uplift event is repeating itself only then i will have that additional volume and then let's put that in i will go to the promotions report the way to put that in is to say that um, the the peak season 2020 Is going to repeat itself so i'm going to duplicate that so i'm going to call that 2021 peak season 2021 again 150 percent uplift and i just call this 2021 and save and close and suddenly i have an additional ending uh, in Let's put it 2022 actually. So I have an additional peak season 2021. This report is uh, dedicated to showing you the, the promotions that are yet to happen. And that's why there are filters um, that have a certain behavior. Let's now go and look at the uh, forecast report again. And here I see my um, 2021 promotion. And if I open my monitor, then 2021 is also now following that um, that uplift. Um, that should give you a clear picture of how promotions work. Let me show a few more advanced um, features in the promotions report. There's also um, a section on how the promotion has performed. Um, that depends on um, a portion in the business cycle to save at some point your best a version of your regular forecast. You can see that in 2020, 
that has happened and as a result of that happening it concluded that this promotion delivered 17,000 whereas it was um, originally planned to be uh, delivering 45,000 uh, so it had only um, a 38% performance against expectation. That's a whole topic in itself. For now, uh, just remember one important thing. The promotion is simply added to the regular sales volume in the future. And uh, you can see that clearly here. Uh, the regular is the blue. The promotion is what is additional on top. And the total is what you have in total. Um, the promotion is subtracted from the total in the past. Therefore, it creates a good notion of regular history. And therefore, the regular forecast is indeed the regular volume before promoting the product. That's it. And um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Over to the next one.